welcome back. I am Isaiah with Wood, Brass and Glass and today I'm going to be doing a video on repairing the on-off circuit for uh, Rollair's JC10 compressor. So I'll show you how I did it, what steps are involved, so stay tuned. Okay, for starters, this is uh, the wires that go to the, the motor area. This is for incoming and the uh, Let's see, these little guys, now one is coated with like a stripe, and this plugs into the, the right side area here. But basically, in a nutshell, these two wires get spliced together, and the other two wires get spliced together uh, using spade connectors, and then they plug into here, plug into here. So basically, you know, this goes here, these two get wound together, go here, uh, and that's about the gist of it. I haven't ran this compressor since December 2017. It's been sitting in my shop. Uh, I've done research and research and research trying to locate the stinking circuit diagram for this, even though it's you know a hot and cold system, it's not that complex. But working with the little solenoid, hook it up wrong, blows the solenoid. So I just put it in the back corner, went and got a, another compressor. And then uh, just been using that, but now the other compressor was having issues. So fortunately, I have a buddy who has a brand new one of these, and he let me take off the cover, look at the circuit. I drew it all out, and I'm going to get it running here in just a moment. Uh, it was kind of infuriating. I took this to a shop, and they had it for nearly two months. Never called, never wrote, they never text. I don't know. I guess they didn't want a relationship. So I finally showed up and the guy that was working on it got fired. He ended up losing the part <laughs> and I had just about had enough of them. Um, so it was like the only bad review I've ever written uh, for a company online. Um, but I wrote anyway, figure what the heck. So now I'm here to walk through very slowly uh, with any of you wondering what this stinking circuit might look like. It's not much of a circuit. And uh, get yours back up and running just in case you take yours to a repair shop and they lose the part and you have to do it yourself. So what began as an issue is the compressor wouldn't even start running. You plug it in and it would just stall. And I was like, I don't want to deal with this, you know. And uh, I'll just send it to a repair shop. And after the two month wait, them losing parts and me uh, behaving good and not losing my temper on them, uh, I brought it back home. And lo and behold, we discovered that all it was was these uh, set bolts were loose and thereby the pistons inside of here loosened up. The cylinders jammed. Uh, it didn't create any kind of uh, marring in the aluminum, fortunately. It's just they didn't seat right and so it just stalled real quick. So I tighten this thing up, turn it back on to just run uh, without a, 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 an air stop or anything. Runs fine now. Sorry, hiccups. It runs fine now. And uh, so the only thing I was lacking to do was just this guy. So in a nutshell, uh, these wires, these small ones, come off the solenoid device come in through here through this uh, the lock washer, the plastic lock washer. These go out to the, the motor and the capacitor, but they come in here, it's only uh, three wires. You have a ground, a hot, and a cold. Though it doesn't really designate hot or cold, they're just both black, so I'm assuming either way is okay. All right, so here it is. These are connected, these are, con these are connected. Okay, here it is. Uh, these wires are connected together. These wires connect together. They just pair. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start it up, see what happens. Either it'll smoke, it won't work, or it'll work fine. Okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> it works! Well, I'll let it cycle up and get back here once the pressure builds up. It's going to take a minute or two. It's been draining for over 
<laughs> a long time. Well, that's unexpected. I don't know what to make of that. Sorry, folks. This is a flop. Alright, so it wasn't a complete flop. It's been some time since uh, I was back on the uh, first part of this video. So, I did some uh, thinking for quite a while, Medit meditating, praying about I guess, just lots of deep thoughts. And I think this may be the answer, it is the control box, I'll put the link in the description below. I got it for 39 bucks on eBay, brand new. I'm going to take this control box off, replace it with the new one, and hook up the wires, and then see if it recharges right. All right, everything's hooked back up. I'm gonna plug this compressor in, fire it up, throw the switch, and see what happens. Well, after all else fails, check your capacitor. <laughs> I crimp tied it here. The wire was loose. All right, let's try this girl again. Oh my gosh, some things. It will blow or it will not. Ah! Plug it in. Now let's try it. Hmm, that's strange. <gasps> what? What? Okay, cool. Okay, so that is a new addition that I've noticed. I just went out and bought the JC20 of these models. So that's a, a feature, I don't know why it is, but it's a feature. So you hear that hiss sound after the motor stopped? Um, I think this air is leaking here. And it's doing it again. I don't get it. This is weird. Coming from the solenoid. Oh, why do thing does that? What is the deal with this compressor? This is a brand new solenoid unloader. Leaks right from here. Well, I don't even know what to do with this. This is weird. This thing's brand new. And now I can't even have to turn on. Brand new control box. The capacitor works because I had it unplugged. And turn on and it works. Now the tanks are drained back to zero. I don't know what to do. Well, okay, so I'll do some more thinking and get right back to this video. How annoying. Please do not die. All right, so I had the bright idea to go and uh, basically start replacing part after part to figure out what in the world could be wrong. So solen the solenoid unloader, um, solenoid unloader I removed and then uh, I removed the solenoid unloader let's start again this is dumb so as I was going through removing part after part uh, this is uh, the original solenoid unloader that's stupid 
So I had the bright idea just the other day. Uh, the control box got worked on, wired up, but you know, you just saw a moment ago that the thing would just turn on and then disengage all the air level out. So I started taking apart the solenoid loader and then I noticed like, what is this? I thought it was an elbow, you know? And it's this part. Let's look at here. Uh, looked up online and actually this is a sort of valve. And inside it was, it's a little bit crusty, maybe a little dirty. There's a spring in here. Um, so I'm like, what the heck? I'm just, so I went and bought another one and I just got it installed. So we're gonna turn this sucker on and see what happens. So it's powering up, almost charged. So in just a moment before, you wait a little bit, and all of a sudden they start leaking and then shut off. So all this was was this silly uh, part here valve that's all it was so solenoid unloader works great the control box is all wired in and looking pretty I'm gonna put the cover back on and get this uh, get this compressor back to field use it's been unused since January of 2017 and it is high time for it to start working again well that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and maybe gain some insights on how to fix your own compressor uh, the JC 10 uh, I look, uh, I'll link all the parts in the description below where you can get your own to fix your own compressor. Click that like button before you leave and subscribe to my channel for more, more uh, interesting videos coming up. Take care everybody. God bless.